Oh boy. Hold on. What is that? You hear that? You ever heard anything like that before? A four cylinder in a in a side by side? Very recently I heard a lot of that, but what <gasps> we what we didn't do is compare them, dude. This is the week to do it. Yep. First up. That bad girl right there. Oh. Going on that bad girl right there. What is that bad girl over there? That is a dyno. Dyno jet. That's baby. a dyno mometer, dude. Mometer. It's gonna freaking config the mometer on that sucker. First we're gonna dyno it, see how much power it makes. I think it's gonna be high. Yep. And then we're gonna race it against another machine that's similar in spec, except it's missing one cylinder. Man, look at that butte, dude. And a turbo. Look at that sucker though. Heck yeah, buddy. Pro R content, dude. Here it is, man. It's time to really see what this thing's got. Like, you know, we ripped it around a little bit and then we took it on the snorri and tearing adventure, but that wasn't like super hard riding, right? We weren't pushing as fast as we could push. So like, it's time to really see what this thing can do. How much power does it make? How fast is it actually? I'm curious about how much it weighs. I want to weigh it. Like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. All yeah. sorts of things. I think first off, dude, Get her on the rollers. Right up. Rollers. I still haven't driven it with it in race. Uh, with the throttle response on the thing. I've only had it in sport. Wait, there's a race mode? Yeah, it, it makes the throttle response more sharp. Super Incredible. Incredible. All right, let's load her up, boys. All right, I got a little ahead of myself, boys. We're going to weigh this thing. We had the scales out ready to go. Might as well send it. All right, boys. Zeroed out on the scales. Time to get this sucker up. Come on, big power. Big power. There you go. All right, uh, man, guesses. guesses. I don't want to look at the screen. So right. I believe it's like 24.55 dry, oh, dry from the factory. Yep. I'm guessing straight up 2,600 pounds. I'm saying 2,701. Wow. Mike? 2,642. Matt? 2,850. Okay. 2,650. Rick, how much do you think the Pro R weighs? Wow! All right. Let's see the number. The number is 2609. Okay. Wow. You were close. Okay. That's with an empty tank of gas. Oh, oh it's I empty? Did put, I did put fuel. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a big girl. She's, she's heavy. She's heavy. I mean, like, you know, a fully equipped 72 inch two seat X3 we found to be what, around 1,800 pounds? So yeah. I don't think we've weighed our max. It's probably. Hey, we can do that. A couple hundred pounds heavier. Yeah. So 2,000, yeah, I mean, it's, it's heavy. It's so heavy, but. It's gonna I'm need some certain. power, though, to make this thing move. Yeah. And we'll figure out how much that makes on the Dino, dude. Wow. That is a big car. That is like, a humongous car. We've had crew cab F-150s on here, and it's it's almost the same way. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just as long. That thing is huge. All right, boys, Pro R on the Dino. Trying to get the tack hooked up here. 184 together. This is our guesses, boys. Frankie, 200. That's a 20. Maybe it's another zero on Wait, there. did you say 200 or 201? 201. 201. Get her done. Mike, 176. Seuss, 189. Oh, yeah. I'm like thinking, Nick. Wait, you, yeah, I'm sorry. She just put Leo. Leo I'm so, I don't even know my own name anymore. This is so bad. Yeah, you see the numbers. Anyway, this is it. Dougal, it's on you, buddy. All right, boys, here we go. 15 mile an hour hit. Let's go. 168. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Who guessed 171? Didn't someone? It was 176 or it was 177, I think. Okay, hey, maybe you want to try to back it up? Let oh, her yeah, get up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I think we should make a couple pulls just to, just to make sure. So. Yeah, a lot of the data that I've seen on the internet already is always hub dyno, and that doesn't take into account all the frictional loss you get from this stuff. So yeah, at right. the hub, it's definitely way more. But. It makes sense. I think we've seen anywhere from like 180 to like 209 on a hub dyno. We do expect this to read on the lower side of that, but I think it's worth a couple more runs just to make sure. All right, let's do it. All right, time to back up the number, boys. Guess 
one more. It didn't sound any better, it didn't do anything better. Yeah, seemed pretty similar, but uh, Here we go. Know. Yep, 169.99. So basically 170 yeah, at the tire. 170. That ain't bad. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good considering, well, we'll show the other right. X3 Max. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, so we are comparing it to an X3 Max, which we've dynoed before. Here's the video. All right, here we go. This is against the non-demo unit. Okay. So there we go. The non-demo did 151. We didn't have ours, unfortunately, on that run, but no big deal. So the Polaris is basically killing it everywhere. I mean, it, yeah, and it makes sense, man. It's, uh, you know, in the neighborhood of 20 horsepower more at the wheel. It's in the neighborhood of 20 horsepower more, you know, at the crank advertised. It's a little bit more than that, but those yeah. numbers make sense. They do make sense. Yeah, yeah. So there it is. I guess all we need to do now is maybe, uh, I don't know, do a little racing? Do a little, do a little drag racing? All right, guys, so this is the competitor for the drag race. This is the X3 Max RR4 seat. That's uh, our non-demo unit from Can-Am. We're putting the stock tires back on it for all the haters out there, and we're taking the windshield off it too, so no complainers. This is a good unit. This thing is extremely fast for its size. Yeah. And well, I think that probably might have its hands full with this thing that's got a little bit less power. Don't think that... Uh, this thing weighs quite as much. No. So, oh, we um, gotta weigh it too. Yeah. Well, okay. I don't think she's got enough power to overcome this thing. This, thing is this thing's gonna wax it. That's my guess. But we'll see. We'll see. Time to drop it, buddy. Four seat Max X3 is ready to drag race the Pro R. We're gearing up. We forgot to weigh them. Man, interesting. Ah, uh, bone stock. Yeah, bone stock oh, tires, okay. everything. I'm gonna say. Uh, 1895. Wow, good year. Nick, what do you say, buddy? I'm thinking 1900. Okay, Matt? 1950. Okay, Rick? Uh, 1817. Wow, Frankie. Uh, you would do 1870 yet? 17. 1870 then. 70. Mike? 2022. I'm gonna say 2000 flat. 2022. Are we good? Are those things prime? Yeah, they're prime, buddy. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 1984. Wow. wow. Okay. okay. Pretty heavy. Not quite 2609 though. Where's the fuel level on this? Does anybody know? That one's half. Half, half tank? tank? Okay. All right. All right. So close. All right. Yeah, I think uh, a little quick mental math would suggest that the power to weight ratio is uh, in the favor of the X3 Max. Yeah. But, uh, hey, see how it translates. Here's your pounds per horsepower down here. Horsepower per pounds, whatever. Players, uh, C on the big end. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Calling it. All right, let's drag race these things. First thing, field. Second thing, totally legal road race. Closed course. Yeah, we got the, commu the county. Yeah. All right. Got our permits. Yep. All right, we got the boys heating them up. Wow. That thing that sounds fast. cool, dude. That sounds yeah. cool. All right, here we go, boys. I say the max is taking them. Right? We're pretty much all on board with that. Here we go. I think max by a car was was basically the perfect guess. Damn. What about that C on the big end? <laughs> didn't a walk him that hard, boy. He didn't walk him. Yeah, hopefully they do a roll. What do you think, buddy boy? I think there's a potential for a good race here. So he, you know, tore tore this thing up good, you know, initially. Sure, we were both doing a lot of spinning, but then once we got out into a little bit cleaner ground, like they very quickly locked right in. And the race wasn't long enough to know if this was going to start pulling yet, but uh, okay, you know I think there's potentially a good race here. I think we should switch the camera angle, maybe swap lanes for one. Smart. See how it shakes out. Yeah, I think on the way back too, try to get a roll in so we can get some like a, like a real top end speed. How was it for you in this? This thing felt like it hooked really well coming out. Yeah. I assume he just spun. So. Yeah, they were both spinning. This ground is pure ass, but switch, switch lanes, do it again, buddy. All right, second race. Here we go. That 
was interesting. That was wow. a much better That's race. Right. Yeah. You can definitely tell that this line provided a lot better traction than the <laughs> yeah. other one. Well, they're going to they're going to do a roll on the way back. Wow. Look at, look at wow. Dude, the popo takes him on the big end. Big end. Wow. It's exactly what you said. See you on the big end, dude. Who would have thought? Hey, when he's right, he's right. That was a really good race, though. Yeah. Really good race. Yeah, because Mike jumped out ahead of him. Yeah, and yeah, that was wild. Back. And that max, like, we've had a lot of seat time in that thing. It's fast. It's fast. Yeah, it's like, real fast. So. Thing freaking rips. Yeah, uh -huh. they're being like, what, 700 pound yeah. deficit for that X3? Like, that player's just ripping. Yeah, that pro puts down the power. Let's see what the loser has to say. That was wild. You should have seen the other side. That thing started choochin'. Really? That started choochin'. Wow. How was it, Dugo? Man, the uh, the drag race was basically a direct opposite result from the first one. So, yeah. you know, I think just lane conditions. But, uh, you know, on the roll, on the way back, we were really close for a bit. But then, you know, late in the race, this thing definitely started to pull pretty hard. Yeah, wow. So I'm, I'm really surprised. I, uh, we know that's a fast machine. Yeah. I mean, race it against a bunch of things, even though it's stock, like, it absolutely rips. And uh, I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. <laughs> this thing moves out pretty good. <laughs> well, I'd like to maybe get some data and do some runs on some real traction. What do you guys say? Yeah, that'd be uh, probably a good idea for... Something a little bit uh, more conclusive data-wise. Yep. Try to eliminate traction from the equation. Well, let's maybe find a spot, huh? Yeah. Okay, uh, what happened? I noticed some steam, so I decided to come over here and check it out. And it's leaking coolant pretty good. It's, like, uh, really good? Undetermined where, like, oh, all this yeah. is coolant. Kind of undetermined where it's coming from without a flashlight out here, but well, what we did do is not treat this thing super good out of the box. So am I surprised? No, but we treat all our machines bad. Yeah, it should take it. Yeah, you know, ideally, especially being bone stock. But hey, it's not going to stop us from a little drag race. So, all right, boys. So here we are in the closed course. This is uh, yeah, full traction run here. So no spinning, no BS. We should see who uh, see who wins. Perfect takeoff. Wow! Yep, Pro has him by about a car. Well, I guess before we take this thing out to Glam, it's probably worth seeing what that coolant leak's all about, huh? <laughs> For Rick. Not so good. Luckily, it looks like it's coming from above anything important. I mean, if it's out of the reservoir, we're good, dude. Yeah, yeah. It'd be ideal. Let's take a look-see. Why? It's everywhere. It's a lot of coolant. Yeah, it is. Where is the reservoir? Oh, right there? Right yeah. there. Where's the overfill the thing? Hey, yeah, that uh, was uh, yeah. really neat to see. Really, really cool to see. Were you surprised? I was surprised, man. Like, we've known about these machines for a while, right? And our idea behind them was they're going to be these big, heavy, super tough things. But because of that, they weren't going to be that quick in a drag race. But it is not slow. Yeah, it Like, rips. she rips, and it seems like it's going to really rip on the top end. Like, the longer the race is, the more it seems it wants to work. So, it seems like the clutches are working really good. The clutch tuning is pretty dang good right out of the box. Like... I'm, I'm impressed. I didn't think it was going to beat that Max. Yeah, I mean, you and I both know that Max rips. Fast, very fast for a stock machine. So for this thing to, to take her down. Pretty darn it. good. Yeah, very good. All right. Well, a lot to think about in the future for this Pro, being that it's bone stock and it's already as quick as it is. Seriously. Like, a lot of mods. Won't be uh, much to make it, like, really quick. Yeah, Evo was already working on tunes. They got mufflers coming, all sorts of stuff. So gears are gears are turning, but yeah, I think uh, obviously still somewhat limited experience with this thing. We're gonna keep pounding it. It's going to Glamis, and we're really gonna give it for a long period of time. But so far, seems like a really good platform. Yeah. So uh, yeah, excited to have one in the shop. Pro R, baby. Hope you guys are too. That's part of the Doom Prep video. Mm -hmm. I guess you can't say that then, can you? 
Oh, What's yeah. next? I don't know when it's gonna fall in. This will be first because this is hotter first. content. Anyway. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hope you liked it, and I uh, hope you're excited to see what this thing's made of. We're gonna show you. Yeah. You know the deal. <laughs> it's uh, if it's good, we're gonna tell you. If it's bad, we're gonna tell you. So stick around, and uh, yeah, crazy stuff to come. You guys know we're going to Glamis. Next few days is all prep, and then uh, rigs are on the road. We're heading out there. It's gonna be a really good trip. It's gonna be filled with a lot of riding. So uh, thanks for being with us as always, for everything you guys do to support the channel. Can't tell you how much we appreciate you. We're making this year a year of ripping and we couldn't do it without you. So if you're supporting the channel by watching, subscribing, donating on Patreon, buying the merch, buying the parts on the parts site, buying through Rocky Mountain, just thank you guys so much. Don't forget, we're doing the giveaway stuff all the time, every month, Rocky Mountain, buy there. Get a chance to win your entire purchase price back. Side-by-side -side blog parts, get a chance to win your purchase price back. The whole deal. Can't Lots complain. Stuff. So. Great stuff. The best stuff. Whoa. All right, Matt. Good job, buddy. Today. Yeah, sorry good job. about that noise. Really. That's all right. I'm just <laughs> giving you shit, dude. I don't care. All right, love you guys. See you. Good job. Hey, good driving out there, despite losing for the team. It's okay. We'll get him. We'll get him next time. It's a good day.